Now, when we uh, think about the CSF, it's important to understand what CSF is all about. Now, CSF is the cerebrospinal fluid. It is a fluid in which the brain is floating inside the skull. Around 500 ml of CSF is made every day by the brain. At the same time, this 500 ml is reabsorbed by the brain and reproduced. So, at one point of time, there are around 125 ml lying inside the central nervous system. So, that's the amount of CSF which is there. Now, if you think logically, a few drop of CSF here and there, how does it really matter? It's like taking a few drops from the ocean and then seeing the ocean has become less in size. No, it doesn't work like that. It's not about the amount of CSF that is coming out that really bothers us most cases. What matters is the fact that CSF is coming out. For the CSF to come out of the skull, there has to be an opening. And usually any opening which lets something out also lets something else in. So if there is a, an opening in the base of the skull which is letting the CSF come out, then there is always a possibility that something more sinister could enter the brain through the same pathway. And what enters would be usually an infection. And that could lead to really catastrophic results. And that is precisely why CSF leak is so sinister. And that is precisely why we need to know the difference between the two. And if it is CSF leak, it is very important to stall that.